Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Arya Simmons and in today's episode I just thought I'd share with you my day ripping and running around Upper West Side here in New York. I started off my day by just tight lacing. I do this occasionally, not very often, but today I felt in the mood to tight lace and wear a steel boned corset under my clothes. My outfit was very simple since I was going to be running around a lot. I just did jeans and a sweater and some little kitten heels. Okay, so I'm in West Village right now and I thought the first thing that we could do today was visit a bookstore in the hopes that maybe um, I can find some books on vintage fashion because I would like to basically start making my own clothes from vintage patterns and maybe even redesigning them a little bit and tweaking the patterns. So I'm going to use bookstore in the hopes that I can find something like that there, as well as a book with just pictures of fashion. That would be nice too, so. Okay, so I found a section on fashion. Here it is. It's looking like a dead end. There's really nothing good here, unfortunately. All I was able to find was this little book. Let me show you what's inside. So this was about the closest that I could get to a book of fashion illustration in this used bookstore um, in Upper West Side. Technically, it's a book on fashion, but not the one that I'm looking for, so let's just move on somewhere else. Okay, well, that's fine. So that was a dead end, unfortunately, but I'm still, I'm still, you know, sure that I'll be able to find something. So let's just hop to another store. There's a Barnes & Nobles up the street. I don't like chain bookstores because the books are often very expensive. Um, but this is just gonna have to do because I really just want to get my hands on a book of fashion. Maybe I'll have to look online, I don't know. I haven't been inside a Barnes & Nobles in years. Oh, God. I'm being shown the way. Okay, I have found it. Let's see if they have anything decently priced. There was a great plethora of books on fashion and fashion design, of course, but still not quite what I was looking for, although I did very much enjoy flipping through these little books with pictures of fashion, uh, notably throughout different eras. Now this book on supermodel Jean Patchett, I hope I'm saying that right, had the kind of photographs of fashion that I had in mind for what I wanted, but it was still just not quite exactly it. So I unfortunately did not end up getting it, even though the fashion illustrations in here and photographs in here of this model in the 1950s and 60s was beautiful. Oh, it was a bust as well, but that's okay. I'll just have to get them offline like I assumed I would have to anyway. This just confirmed it. Um, next, oh my gosh, where am I? I've ended up in the manga section. Uh, how do I get out of here? Okay, <laughs> I found the exit. Um, this place is amazing. But next I wanna go to the thrift store and maybe see if I can find some vintage gloves or a fascinator or a hat or something. I just need to look at something pretty. I've had nothing but like nothing going around around me these past few days. So I want to go somewhere where I can look at something pretty and be around pretty stuff for a little bit. I guess next I can head downtown here in Manhattan and go to a thrift shop and maybe let's see if I can find some pearls, damaged or no, or hopefully a vintage mirror that I can keep in my purse because I need a new mirror for my purse so let's go so 
there's two little shops that sell specifically vintage. Sorry, I'm chewing my thumb. I thought we could walk to both of them together. The first one, to me, seems too put together, but we're gonna stop and check it out anyway. I don't know, I um, I kind of like vintage stores that are a little strewn together, you know what I mean? They're a little messy. They look like they could be, you know, the inside of somebody's grandma's closet. That's my preferred type of vintage store. Things aren't really very organized. Um, they're kind of thrown about haphazardly. That's the kind of vintage store that I prefer. You know, like a thrift shop. You know, a proper bazaar where you'll find things hidden under things. Those to me are just the most fun. I'm realizing that I keep forgetting to record sideways. I keep recording the wrong way, so sorry about that. <laughs> I'm really bad at YouTubing. I'm not good at this at all, but I'm making an effort, so you'll have to bear with me. This is a Baptist church built between 1890 and 1893. I pass it quite often and I really love touring churches here in New York City. So maybe in a future video, if you'd like to see it, we can take a peek inside. Naturally, I had to stop and smell the roses. I love fresh flowers and plants. I keep them in my apartment. Hopefully one day I'll be able to have the space to raise my own plants in a conservatory. But for now, this will have to do. So unfortunately for this part of the video, I will have to mute the entire thing just because um, there's music playing in this store that I'm sure will get this video copyrighted. So this store was so adorable. It had a lot of great vintage stuff, but more from like the 1990s Y2K, which is great. I love that era in fashion. It's one of my favorites but it wasn't quite what I was looking for today. If you are looking for a lot of Y2K 90s apparel that's actually truly vintage, this is definitely the place to go here in Upper West Side. Even though I love fashion from the 50s and the 40s and the 30s, I still am very much a modern person and so a lot of what was in the store appealed to me. The lace purse, the coach bags, those interesting sunglasses that I tried on and this adorable uh, sort of like quilt carpet bag that I almost bought because it's like a good mix of modern but also old lady, which is just my aesthetic. I had a lot to say in this particular part of the clip. Of course, I had to mute, but this dress, which looks like it's from the 80s, but I'm sure it's actually a 90s dress. I thought it was adorable. And I almost bought this as well. I mean, it's, I think it's just a good idea to have an evening gown in your closet. You never know when you might need one, right? And let's just take a moment for these adorable ceramic pets. I mean, if you're in New York City and you can't have a pet, that's a good option. This little bowl, I wanted it, um, but it cost way too much to be a thrifted item. I was going to use it to make something like a small casserole, but ended up deciding against it. Another thing I nearly bought is this bracelet. Unfortunately, silver doesn't look good on me, so I also decided against it. Okay, so that place was cute. Um, now let's hop over to the other vintage shop, Icon Style, which is a proper vintage. I mean, your grandma from the 50s or the 80s probably donated her clothes to this store. I'm really excited to go check it out. I found it a couple of weeks ago and I have yet to go back to it. I found it maybe two weekends ago and I've been wanting to go back so bad but I haven't found the time. 
So today is the day I'll be able to go and actually see this stream of a store. Can't wait to show you guys. There's this magical looking thing up ahead. I don't know. Can you guys see that? It's like a canopy of pretty flowers and lights. Let's go walk under it. The overhanging of faux plants and tea lights turned out to not be as pretty as I thought as you can see. A lot of scaffolding poking through there. I think Upper West Side is one of the nicest neighborhoods in New York City. Everyone loves Upper East Side and raves about Upper East Side. Frankly, if you want my opinion, Upper East Side is only nice because it's where all of the luxury clothing stores are. If it weren't for the fact that all the luxury clothing stores were over there, it wouldn't be all that nice. Like it's, it's a lot of families live there, a lot of wealthy families especially. Um, a lot of older retired people. If you are in your 20s and early 30s, and you want somewhere nice to live, but you also want to live around people in your age group, Upper West Side, I think, is definitely where you'll want to come because it's actually decent here. Sorry, I saw a clothing store. Let me just, just go in for a second. Is this nice, you guys? Tell me. Maybe? This one for sure, right? <laughs> so I totally forgot that yeah. Housing Works, the thrift shop, is right here on this app. Maybe they'll have a book for me. Let's see. I didn't find a book on fashion, but let me show you what I did find. It's a book on etiquette. How great is that? I think I'm gonna get it. It's only 10 bucks, but I think I'm gonna get it because it would be fun to flip through this book with you all and just like read some of these vintage etiquette, you know, manners from the 80s this book was published. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. This bookstore had music playing in the background, so again, I will have to mute this section and just do a voiceover. Um, there was other books that they had on interior design and American art. Rustic home decor, which I thought was particularly interesting since I love that style of decor. I'm from the South, so that definitely appealed to me. This book just had interesting sketches of the human figure, and I especially loved it even though I didn't get it. It featured in it sketches of body shapes, people, um, and some of the images kind of bordered on the macabre a little bit, which also appeals to the part of my personality that's a little gothic, and you'll likely be seeing more things like this on this channel as I explore that part of my style. They definitely had a wide range of costume jewelry, faux pearls and things like that, but nothing that really striked me as old lady. Nothing at all, not even this fuzzy purse. However, over in the home goods section, there was a lot of interesting stuff. Stuff that didn't really have immediate utility to me, so I couldn't take it. I mean, this set of plates and dishware is enough to feed 12 people with, but I'm a student in college, so I have no use for that. This thing is really interesting. Um, obviously, it's old, and I'm not quite sure exactly what it is. I mean, I have an idea, but I assume you put pins in these parts and set it on a desk to be used. stuff like that you could never find online or at a store or like this okay. 
Adorable is this lounger. The Shay's Lounge. So, the buildings here are just so beautiful. This is why I think it's one of the nicest neighborhoods. It's quiet and just look at this adorable village. Look. Been wanting to come to Alice's teacup for quite some time. I ended up passing it and just thought I could pop inside for a quick second and see what was in there. Look how adorable this place is. Okay, so I stepped inside of the Alice teacup. This is what it was like in there. It was so cute. I saw a group of the most adorable women sitting having tea and they were actually dressed in a kind of Victorian style. I don't know if they were cosplaying or if it's just like a little thing that they do. I wanted so badly to go and join them, but you know, it would have been rude because they were sitting having their tea and chatting. And they had their gloves on and the lace millinery hats with the lace covering their face. They were so cute. I wish I could have told them that, but I felt like it would have been rude. So I didn't say anything, but I'm definitely going to be going back in the future for sure. Okay, so we're here at Icon's file. And hopefully, actually, let me record. I don't know. Do you guys see that adorable little vintage shop behind me? I don't know. Let's see if they'll let me in. Okay, so when I said someone's grandma's closet, this is what I meant. Look how cute these pieces are. Look at this dress. So here we are at Icon Style. Um, this is a proper vintage store. Everything in here is actually very old. I mean, some of the jewelry in these cases goes back to like 1920. Um, they have both costume jewelry, vintage costume jewelry, as well as real, I mean, real diamond jewelry. I mean, I was blown away by some of the incredible pieces in this shop. They also had fascinators from the 20s, as well as vintage, like true vintage gloves from probably the 30s through the 50s. There was even a bracelet in here. I'm not too sure which designer made it, but this bracelet was $12,500. It's a snake bracelet, the most gorgeous thing. And halfway through filming my footage stopped my phone died so unfortunately i didn't get to show everything that they had but i will be going back in the future obviously and i guess this is where i leave you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one